not only for new content predictions, for MT methods, guys. I'm gonna go over the market a little bit in this video. I'm gonna try to make you guys some MT in this video as well. So what you guys wanna do, right this second, go to the damn auction block and you sell your ass, bro. You sell everything you have because that's what I did. I have a couple other things to sell, like some cheap pink diamonds and whatnot. Guys. Um, if you have Kernelenko, throw him up. The market is somewhat inflated. Somewhat. It, it's in ways. In ways inflated. As you can see, this Bill Russell dropped a ton. And Kernelenko rolled. So if you have Kernelenko, you probably should sell him. Kevin Durant dropped. Um, now here's another tip for you guys that I realized maybe a lot of MT. Okay, how did I get so much MT from my Giannis, okay? Uh, well, Giannis, bro. This is what I'm going to say right now. So, I got Giannis for 1.1 during the day, where prices usually drop because they have ulti packs out still to this day. They still have these juice packs out in the market. So, you're probably going to continue to see the market crash and whatnot. Um, so, right now, what do I recommend doing? Okay. Um, there's a couple things I recommend. Uh, probably sell your team, and tomorrow when they drop a new go card, you're gonna thank Bugs for selling your team. Because if there's a new go card, almost every single content creator in the game is going to pop packs, in which mostly everybody else is gonna pop packs tomorrow. Which means a huge market crash is coming, which also means the insane go card is coming. I'm almost positive a go card is coming. Every time they drop a go in single player, they drop another go card. Get a card is the easiest way to buy a card line. Which means if you like this card, this card, or this card, you can buy it on your own schedule. And wait, there's more. You have seven days to test drive a card. If you don't like it, you can return it or exchange it for another one. We'll even pick it up for free. All you have to do is sit in the car. Also, man, could we get a... Here's McBrady. From 13 feet, it goes down. I like the size McBrady has inside. Fantastic at kind of angling his body there for the interior shot. And the rebound goes to Martin. And here comes McBrady. He moves that straight. Pops one in from the wing. McBrady's got six. He's got the hot hand right now. As long as he can keep it open, they've got to keep beating him. Williamson, Toronto grabs the miss, lets it go from deep, dumbass out of here, and again Toronto no luck, he's not using his head this quarter, he's got to get back to five, he ain't going to be here too long, here's McBrady, doesn't go for him, nice deep from Cousins, Toronto trails by four, Oh, you trash. Don't do it. Don't do it. I told you don't do it. Market. That is also another thing I want to talk about. I really, I really believe so, bro. We haven't had any signs of token market in about a month or two. And honestly, bro, these packs are trash in here. The Galaxy Open Market is trash in my opinion. Yeah, DMAR is cool, but I'm not dropping my 1,700 hard-earned tokens that I've waited for in a while. So if I were you, man, save up your tokens. If you want to buy Galaxy with DMAR, don't do it. I mean, it's all up to you, bro. I think he's voted. 
We also could get a GOAT Tim Duncan. So my top five GOATs that are going to come out, okay? We got Tim Duncan GOAT. We got Giannis GOAT. We got Kevin Durant. No, not Kevin Durant GOAT. We got Giannis GOAT, Tim Duncan GOAT, Shaq GOAT, Will GOAT, and Bill Russell GOAT. That seems to ring some bells and makes the most sense. I would love to see a damn Giannis GOAT. If we get Giannis GOAT, it's over. I mean, if you guys remember the card last year when we completed all the sets, how good that Giannis card really was, man. That's all I'm going to say. If Giannis GOAT comes out, this is going to be the biggest market crash in history. Damn, I like his shot. Honestly, any GOAT card that comes out. If as soon as I see it, I like his shot. If Tim Duggan comes out, it's not going to be as height. That's what I'm going to say. If Giannis comes out, very height. If it's Shaq, pretty height. I think the most hyped card they could drop to make milk, like for 2K to make a lot of money. Giannis. I think the most hyped card that they can have to drop is most likely Giannis Antetokounmpo. And once again, he only has Gold Range Extender. So that is something you definitely want to pay attention to, guys. Gold Range Extender is not enough for Giannis the Green Freak. Yes, he isn't the best shooter, but it doesn't matter. It's 2K. It's unrealistic. It's coming, guys. If my man was wearing this, I would be all over it. That feels really good. Don't take my guys to It feels really good, yeah. This target really practice sexy. right here. Really good. I would the shooting practice for me, not for you, though. It's a block drill for you. <laughs> Go ahead and quit, man. You know you quit. So, timeout called here. The first for Toronto. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, they have to regroup. And when you visit their strategy at the defensive end. All right, White Chocolate, this your gameplay. Let me let you get off now. White Chocolate Gameplay, what up, YouTube? What up, Twitter? I'm going to blow this nigga out for y'all. What's going on, YouTube? Come back at you another video. So 50 Cent now reacting to this huge breaking news that there has been five people arrested in connection with the death of Pop Smoke. We don't know what these people have been charged with. All that the police have given us is that there were five people arrested. Three of them were adult males. Two of them were juvenile males. We don't have a motive. We don't have what the actual charges are. We don't know who they are at this point. But sooner rather than later, I'm sure we'll be getting updates. 50 reacted to this news though. He put up a post about Pop Smoke, about the situation on his Instagram. Before I show you, if you haven't already taken a second to follow me on Instagram, at Hip Hop Flash is Family, all one word. Please go ahead and do so. So 50 put this up. TMZ article, Pop Smoke Murder Investigation, Yield Five Arrest. 50 says, oh shit, what the fuck was the police waiting for? Is album to drop to it? Rest in peace, Pop Smoke. And I thought that was actually very interesting how Pop Smoke is all in the news right now <laughs> because his album is reportedly doing very well. And right at the same time, just so happens, the police arrest five people in connection with the situation. I don't know if it's just a coincidence or what. Definitely is something to think about. But I'm hoping that these arrests are actually going to yield some kind of justice for Pop Smoke. This was a messed up situation. Pop Smoke did not deserve to lose his life the way he did. He was young. He was grinding. He was focused on his career, trying to make things happen. He was just starting to uh, bud as an artist, and his life was just snatched and taken away. And that shit ain't cool at all. So I'm hoping his family gets the justice that they deserve in the end of all this. We'll see how this plays out, though. I'll definitely keep you guys informed as we move forward to any more information that comes out. Make sure you ring the notification bell. So you stay tuned for all the videos that I have coming. 
I appreciate you watching though. Please take one second too to click the link that I'm going to pin as a top comment. It's going to take you to a dope artist out there trying to get his YouTube channel monetized. He's almost there. He's not paying me to say this. I'm doing it because I want him to get monetized. Please click the link and subscribe. I appreciate you watching though. Peace. What's good, y'all? It's Mikey T, the movie star. I'm back with another exclusive. Today, we're actually going to touch on something that's very important to all of you, and that is the future of OVH. That's right. Today, I have an exclusive update on the future of OVH. Excuse me, guys. Um, it's early. I was up late last night. <clears throat> but I got this dope message from Ab that I wanted to share with all of you. This is in regard to the future of OVH Records. Um, it's Mikey T, the movie star. Hey, everyone. I want you guys to follow me on Instagram at Mikey T underscore the movie star. Everybody that follows me, I'm going to follow you guys back. And we can work. Um, anybody wants to do a uh, video premiere or an interview, any anything like that, guys, we can do it on my channel. Um, I'm going to tell your story the right way. You know what I'm saying? We can, um, we can do a music video from here, or you can just come on the channel to, to, to tell me your story with AR Rab. If you guys want to share uh, some positive light on AR Rab or Dark Low or, or any number of OBH, really. Anybody who wants to come on the channel and share your story, just reach out to me on Instagram, Mikey T underscore the movie star i'm here for you guys so, we, so let's get into the story today so ab wanted me to break this news to all of you he hit me up and he said this is for the fans and the talent so this message actually goes out to everybody in obh records oh shit everybody that is actually interested in being a part of obh records like if you guys out there want to add one to send your demos in or just have some music for AR app to listen to, this is going to be a message for you. But this is also for the fans out there who have been wondering about the continuation of OBH. So we got an update for y'all. Ad said, this is for the fans and the talent. My cousin Naskeen, I'm gonna put a put picture right here of Naskeen. Ad said, my cousin Naskeen was recently released from prison from doing five years. I had mentioned Naskeen in the last in, uh, one of the last pieces. Um, Ab had said Naskeen was another one of his friends that would do any sort of thing for him. He was another one of his friends that would lay down his life for him. Um, this is the type of friendship you want, guys. Everybody that I keep around me, they're going to lay their life down for me, just like I would do for them. Because my life is not more important than my friends. You gotta understand that. I'm the type of guy that would take a bullet from my friend. And these are the type of guys that I saw around Ab. These guys like Ab, Luke, Ab's brother Moolahs, No Breaks Bras, Dark Low. All these guys would put themselves on the line for Ab, just like Ab would do for them. You guys gotta understand this brotherhood. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's really, it's really a beautiful thing, you guys, when you could go out there and you could see how these people would be so selfless and just care about the next man more than they even care about themselves. When you go out there and you witness something like that, that's what makes me such a believer. That's what makes me inspired to wake up every single day and relay these messages, as Ab says, the voice of the voiceless. Right now, I have no choice but to come here and relay these messages from ARF. 
Well, let's get back into it. He said Nasty Damn, was I'm going to turn this to a Tracy McGrady gameplay. Five years. And this is the major oh, announcement. Jason Williams gameplay. Damn, Nasty Tracy.